To create a new form or quiz, locate the Add New Quiz button at the top left of your screen. Next to the Add New Quiz button, you'll see a drop down menu. This will provide you with an option to create a new form. The difference between a quiz and a form is that a quiz will allow you to issue questions which can provide feedback. For example, each multiple choice option can be provided with information on any incorrect or correct answers. Points can also be allocated to each of the questions available within the quiz. Both a form and a quiz can be shared within or beyond Glow. If you want to know more about quizzes, please check out our Microsoft Forms quiz video. For this example, we're going to create a form. Once selected from the drop down menu, click New Form. A new tab will open and will be saved automatically. You'll see the green band along the top tell you the title of the form and whether or not it's saving or saved. Any form created will automatically be shown as untitled form. As soon as a form has been created, even if it is untitled, it will be visible in your original tab of your form's home page. Here we can see the form I just created. This means I can go back and edit. Any changes made to a form are live. They'll be seen if your form is shared by any participants. Please be aware changing a form or a quiz during the time which it's shared may affect your data. However, when editing to create it, you can change it and edit it as much as you want. Within your quiz, to title it, tap in the top right box with your mouse or pen. Type in the title that you want to call your form. Here we're going to ask colleagues in a science department about resources they might want for the year ahead. I can also introduce a privacy notice, success criteria or general information. You may also wish to edit some of the text which you've been adding. Select the text you want by highlighting. You will then see an editing bar open up. This now allows you to use some simple formatting tools, change the font colour or change font size. You can also use numbering and bullet points. These may be particularly useful tools when working on your description as it would allow bullet pointing of success criteria. A simple way to add additional information for your form or quiz. Once the information you wish to share has been added, you'll see a small green box. This allows you to provide an image. This could be a school logo, subject band, department or anything you wish. Selecting the media button will open a pop-up window to the right of your screen. Here we have three options. I can search the internet, I can upload directly from my OneDrive or I can upload from my device. To upload from the device or a pen drive, simply select, choose the drive you want, for example this science image and your image will be populated. The same process can be followed to upload from your OneDrive. You're also able to add alternative text by clicking the T and typing in any text which screen readers may find beneficial to access the information that you've shared, which is visual. Once you're happy with your text, click out of the box. Your text will remain within. Anyone using a screen reader, once this is shared or hovering over it, will see the information. If you no longer wish to use an image, you can delete it. Inserting an image using image search means Microsoft uses Microsoft Bing. Here we can search the internet by clicking on the search magnifying button and a range of images will appear below. All images will initially be shared under the Creative Commons license if this box is ticked. This means you can use these images without worry around copyright. These are freely available resources which can be added. You are able to uncheck this box. However, doing so means all images on the internet will be searched, not just copyright free ones. Again, I can add in my alternate text and I can move on to adding a new question. At any time, I should make sure that this says saved before returning to my home page. I can do that by using the original tab Alternatively, I can click on the word forums 
This will close my forum and take me to my homepage. My survey is here, ready for me to add more questions to it, or it is available in my all forums 